This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, February 5th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week we're reading different images of the beloved community in uh, preparation for a sermon on Sunday about what the beloved community is for our congregation and, and what it might be calling us to be. And this last image is, uh, is straight off of the Habitat for Humanity website as they're describing who they are and what they're about. And they write this. Habitat for Humanity is propelled by a vision of a world where everyone has a decent place to live. We devote ourselves to creating that world because we believe everyone, every single one of us, regardless of who we are or where we come from, deserve a decent life and deserves the opportunity for a better future. Believing is not enough, so we build. We build houses, and through those houses, the strength, stability, and self-reliance that families need in order to achieve a better life. That better life is our primary goal. So when we build houses, we also build bridges between people of diverse backgrounds. We build paths to more connected communities. We build ways for all people to come together and share in the creation of a new world. That new world allows access, equality, and opportunity for all. That new world represents what Dr. Martin Luther King called the beloved community. The beloved community is fair. The beloved community is just. The beloved community is built on love. Not just any love, but as Dr. King said, the love of God operating in the human heart. That's a practical love that requires participation. When that love is truly and fully present, it compels us to act. During a brief correspondence in the 1950s, Dr. King wrote to Clarence Jordan, Habitat's founder, noting the struggles that Clarence's farm faced from hostile and unwelcoming neighbors. I hope that you will gain some consolation, King wrote, from the fact that in your struggle for freedom and a true Christian community, you have cosmic companionship. God grant that this tragic midnight of man's inhumanity to man will soon pass and the bright daybreak of freedom and brotherhood will come into being. We still await that daybreak. While much has been done, so much more work remains. This will never be a world of equality or fairness or human decency that leaves no room for poverty, prejudice, or violence unless we build it. Bold actions speak louder than words. Working together side by side is what will continue to move us from tragic midnight to glorious morning. As Dr. King so powerfully stated, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. With his emphasis on the beloved community, Dr. King gave us the blueprint. Folks of faith and perseverance like Clarence Jordan have stewarded and advanced it. Now it's up to all of us to make it a reality. See you on Sunday.